Hello, welcome to NetVN. In this video I show you how to install RouterOS on your computer. Your computer needs to have at least two network interfaces. Because my computer has only one network interface by default, I need an extra network adapter. Let us begin with. First you go to the RouterOS homepage and download the x86 version. RouterOS supports a lot of different hardware platforms including x86. You scroll down and download the file called install image. After downloading you get a zip file and you unzip it. Here is the file after it is unzipped. So how to burn image files to your hard drive? You follow these steps. You prepare a conversion cable between USB and SATA. This cable helps you to connect the hard drive to your computer using the USB port. Here I use a 240 gigabyte solid state drive. With RouterOS you only need an 8 GB hard drive. You connect the solid state drive to your Windows computer using an adapter cable. The software used to write the image file to the hard drive is called Rufus. You go to Rufus IE and download the latest version of this software. By default you do not see the hard drive in the list. So you enable the display of the list of hard drives connected to the computer using the USB port. You should now see your hard drive in the drop down list. After selecting the hard drive, browse to the extracted image file in the previous section. Rufus will erase the data on your hard drive and write an image file on it. It only takes a while to finish burning the image file to your hard drive. Before connecting the hard drive, I connect the network adapter to make sure the target computer has at least two network interfaces. Next you connect the hard drive to the target computer using a SATA cable. After connecting the network adapter and the hard drive, Power on the computer and access the BIOS. In the BIOS make sure the computer has detected the hard drive and set it to boot from this hard drive. The target computer boots from the hard drive and you start to install RouterOS. You press the I key to install RouterOS on your hard drive. After pressing the I key, wait 2 to 3 minutes to complete the installation. Your computer will automatically restart. Successfully booting router OS for the first time. Next I will connect this computer's network interfaces and do some basic configuration. I connect the cable to one of the two network interfaces and I choose this interface as one. Then I connect the cable to the other network interface and I choose this interface as LAN. On a Windows computer in the same local network I will connect to the target computer over the network. You go to the home page and download the software called Winbox. You open Winbox and allow it to go through the Windows firewall. Winbox automatically searches for router OS devices in your local network. You connect to the target computer using the MAC address. You are asked to create a new password for the router PC because it does not have a password by default. You use this password to log into the router PC next time. I will configure this router PC so it connects to the internet. 
I choose quick configuration and create a new PPPoE dial. You enter your PPPoE account provided by your internet service provider. Next you set up the IP address for the router PC. In order for devices on the local network to access the internet, don't forget to enable NAT. As you can see PPPoE connection is successful. Next I set up the DHCP server. The DHCP server will assign IP addresses to devices on your local network. Because Ethernet interface 1 used to dial PPPoE so I set up DHCP on Ethernet interface 2. You set the range of IP addresses for network devices, then set up DNS addresses. Now I will check the results on this Windows machine. I use opconfig command to get IP address from DHCP server on PC router. As you can see the router PC has assigned an IP address to this computer. Next I open any browser and check the internet connection. So I have completed the introduction of how to install router OS on the computer. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like and help me 600,000 subscribers. There is a note for you, after installing router OS on your computer you can only try it for 24 hours. If you want to continue using it, you can buy a license on Microdex homepage. And here are the license levels of Microdex for your reference. Good luck!